feel like you're out of sorts. Sometimes it's like that. Every day is not going to be a mountaintop experience. You really can't enjoy the mountain unless you've had some valley days. I'm talking to somebody this morning with your glad rags on and with your garments of praise on. You got your church face on. You got your church makeup on. You got your church perfume on and your church cologne. But the reality is you're down in the valley. Uh, but don't worry because David said, yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will feel the wheel of why? Because God is with me. Tell yourself, God is with me. God is with me. Encourage yourself. You in the right place. Uh, uh, you, 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 you just been deputized uh, by me and the Holy Ghost to preach to yourself today. And tell yourself, God is able. Can I preach like I feel? Uh, I don't know who I'm talking to, but God is taking you on a journey. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's going to be quiet. Sometimes it's going to be lonely. Sometimes they ain't going to hit you up on Facebook. Sometimes they're not going to hit you on Messenger. Y'all ain't going to say something here. Uh, sometimes uh, they're not going to call you to the party. Uh, but the truth of the matter is, we don't been to enough parties if we don't go to another. Okay. Who am I talking to? I'm talking to the one who thought, uh, and people make you think, that you were born on the wrong side of the track. I'm talking to you uh, who had a baby out of wedlock. I'm speaking to your hurt. I'm speaking to your pain. I'm speaking to your mistakes. Uh, am I talking to anybody in here? It doesn't matter about your missteps. It doesn't matter about your infidelity. Don't worry about the divorce. Don't worry about y'all ain't gonna say nothing here. Don't worry about the embarrassment and the humiliation. The people who walked out, the loss, the divorce, the eviction, the layoff, the setback, everything, it had to happen. Tell your neighbor, it had to happen. Uh, it had to happen. Uh, uh, you were born where God wanted you to be born. Uh, your mother is who she is. Uh, your daddy is who he is. Come on. 
telling people uh, that you're a preacher, pastor, deacon, leader, uh, pastor, a president of this, that, and the other. Uh, just live it. Uh, can I get in your head? Uh, I'm reminded when I was in Queens, uh, I was sitting in the office uh, of somebody who had been given. Uh, they didn't go to school to matriculate for uh, but they had been given an honorary doctorate. I knew the man, but he couldn't preach out of a wet paper bag. Sitting in his office, and I said, Rev, I'm ready when you are. He turned to me and said, That's Reverend Doctor to you. I said, Oh my, isn't it funny how a little piece of paper can make people change who they were? That's why I tell people like, when they ask for my bio, I, I said, just tell them that I'm a servant of God. I'm a servant on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Friday, Saturday, I'm a servant. I, tell your name. You don't have to know my name. Just know that I'm a servant of the Most High God. 
unless I act like Paul said, follow me, because I follow Christ. You have to be bold and determined to do it God's way. God's way.
than this. Man, like he laid down his life for his friend. I heard the long one say, I am a friend of God. Yeah. Every time you say, you need help, man. You need to know that you're a friend of God. And because God is your friend, you don't have to worry about nothing. Yeah.
Don't you stop working now. Don't you get to the place where you think that you're tired now. There's still work to be done. That's right. And when they come, they need to hear you and come to them. And if they see you tired, you're going to tell them all the Thank you, little boys. 